Okay, it's February 2nd. We've got ourselves a little bit of a, a test here of different fonts. These are all bitmaps. This isn't being, you know, rendered live or anything, but uh, I put together just some test images to see what types of, you know, letters and numbers, what are the characteristics of them that look good versus the ones that don't. And I've uh, got some interesting results. I'll, I'll, here's the normal intensity, how it looks like in real life, but it looks on camera, you know, totally bleached out. So what I'm going to do is drop it down so you can kind of get a better idea as to what I'm talking about. Um, get it in focus here. There you go. As you can see, some of them look really stable, but the fatter ones tend to be harder for the scope to render because, you know, the beam has to essentially halt on every single one of those pixels. And it can be a bit of a, a bit of a hassle for the gun, so... The ones that look best are the ones that are <coughs> thinnest, regardless of height. It's just fewer, fewer stops along the way. We're losing focus again. There we go. Turn the intensity up a little. But not bad for 48 kilohertz. <laughs> I've actually rendered a second batch with slightly different parameters on how to draw the beam, and we'll see that here in a minute. Let me put the phone down. Just a second. I'll have to stare at a red light while I wait. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, just a second. Let me call up the other batch that I just rendered out. Here's the second batch. Oh, I got a little bit of a glare here, so I'm going to try to aim it just right. Get in focus. Drop the intensity just a little bit. Looks a little better, a little more stable. Without much loss in uh, clarity, which is nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, they all look pretty good, with the exception of maybe one or two that are really fat, but even that can probably be overcome pretty easily. The autofocus on this camera is having a hard time. <laughs> there we go. Cranked up, here's what it looks like. Um, but again, it's almost, you know, it looks different in real life than it does on the camera. So here's to the human eye what it sort of looks like. Pretty cool. Oh, and from a distance. <laughs> Pretty neat. 